Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and today let's talk about Plectranthus prostratus and it comes with the common names of pillow plant, succulent Swedish ivy, and the tangled hearts. Itong ating mga pillow plant is a very nice na succulent. It is a hanging plant that you can easily grow and put sa inyong mga balconies or anywhere. If you're gonna look at it closely, it look like little hearts yung kanyang mga leaves that is attached to this parang stem that is greenish to purplish in color. Yung kanyang leaves are greenish in color and it has these visible purple lines across its leaves. Up close, you would see this combination of green and purple and of course if we're gonna be exposing them to the sun the more na magiging intense yung kanyang uh, pagka purple this kind of succulent is native to africa and they also produce these beautiful flowers although hindi nyo mabilis mapansin yung kanilang flowers unless we're gonna look at it up close yung kanyang flowers para lang siyang tiny bulbs na purplish and yellowish in color if we're gonna try to smell this succulent, it has this very strong na scent. It's very difficult to explain yung kanyang scent, but para siyang wild grass in general, or if for example, pumunta kayo sa mga damuhan, parang ganun yung kanyang smell. Although, it's very tolerable naman. Hindi naman siya mabaho. It's just maybe in the middle. Growing itong ating mga pillow plant is effortless. Sobrang dali nilang alagaan, and they really grow on their own as long as we're gonna be giving yung basic na care needs. You would see here na yung mga bagong offsets niya or mga bagong growth are still greenish in color but in the long run, they will turn into this parang purplish na colors. Handling wise, itong ating pillow plant is also very easy kasi hindi sila very sensitive na unlike sa mga ibang succulents, once you lift them, mabilis mag-break off yung kanilang stems or yung kanilang leaves. But this one, hindi. So you can simply do this one. So very sturdy. Ayan, yung kapit niya sa kanyang pinaka-stem. Let's take this as an example. Itong stem na to is approximately or more or less 14 or 15 inches long na siya. And it's actually heavy. Kasi nga, as you would see here, pag nag-branch out siya, Hindi lang siya single leaf, it has multiple leaf on each side. In addition, itong ating mga pillow plants have a shallow root system and you can easily grow them anywhere from large pots or cups or anything. In my case, I'm using this plastic cup so it's not really important kung ilalagay nyo sila sa expensive pots or even recycled pots. Kasi nga, as it grows, it will literally cover nga yung kanyang pot. Nilagay ko siya sa isang hanging na pot. As you would see here, itong mga ito, itong wires na to, mga alambre lang yan, na DIY ko lang na ginawa. And if, for example, I will do this one sidewards, you would really see na it's, it's almost entirely covering uh, itong kanyang pinaka pot. So, you can make use of any recycled pots if you wish kasi talagang matatakpan yan in time. In terms of watering this kind of succulent, as I've mentioned earlier, itong succulent na to has a shallow root system and therefore we have to frequently water them. But in my case, I do usually water it once a week or twice a week. It would now really depend kasi if you will keep on watering itong ating pillow plant, the tendency is that it would look this one, greenish siya. You won't really appreciate nga yung kanyang pagka purplish na color kasi when we are trying to stress our succulents, including the pillow plant, yung watering natin is also very important. So if you wanted to water it once a week or twice a week, that would be fine. But don't expect na magiging ganito yung color ng kanyang mga leaves. And also since this one is a hanging plant, it would easily now collect nga yung mga dust and you would really see na sometimes, diba, yung mga dirt or dust would really cover itong kanyang leaves and hindi siya magiging shiny. So what I usually do is that when I try to water it, sinasabay ko na rin yung parang pag miss directly nga dito sa ating mga leaves niya. So instead of just pouring the water dito sa kanyang pinaka pot, I also make sure to miss itong ating mga leaves to get rid of the collected na dust para naman magmukha siyang ganito, shiny and dirt free. Ayan. With regards sa kanilang soil, of course, since it is a succulent, we have to make use 
of a well-draining na soil mix. In this one, ang ginamit ko dito is a combination of compost and garden soil. Ayan, you would really see these are just dried leaves. Ayan, and some dried sticks together. Ayan, so this kind of soil mix is really well-draining. I do a blended na kind of fertilization dito sa ating string of pillows. I do add uh, osmocote sa kanyang pinaka soil na mismo. And every month, dinidiligan ko pa siya ng liquid na fertilizer na mix. Yun yung nga yung Harvest King natin na uh, from Japan. And yes, the result is really nice. In terms of their light or sunlight requirements, uh, they prefer na yung indirect or sa mga shaded na areas. Although in my case, I intentionally put them under full sunlight kasi I'm really trying to stress them. You have to put them in a bright shaded area to prevent nga yung mga burns sa kanyang leaves. Propagation wise, it's very easy na padamihin itong ating string of pillows. All you need to do is to take about mga 4 to 5 inches na cutting sa kanya. So for example, this one. Right? Yeah, so we can cut it here. Then all we need to do is remove nga itong mga lower leaves. But we have to make sure na may node dapat sa inyong stem. So if you wanted to have a successful propagation ng inyong mga string of pillows, there must be a node kasi that is a common problem. It doesn't mean na this one is already 5 inches. We can simply cut it here. Hindi ganun yun. Since here, wala naman na akong nakikitang node then I cannot show you how I can cut it. But if you see a node already sa inyong mga string of pillows or any other kind of succulents, then you can easily cut it. Ayan, ganyan yung itsura ng inyong node. Look at this one. You would see here, ayan, 1 and 2. Ganyan yung ating node. Kaya, I will try to cut it here, okay? Ayan. So this one is approximately 5 inches and all we need to do is remove nga itong mga lower na leaves. Ayan. Including this. Ayan. So you will see here, ayan yung kanyang node and ibabaon natin ito sa soil until here. Dapat nakalubog yung kanyang node sa prinipir na soil mix. All we need to do is ilabog siya. Ganun lang kabilis, you already have successfully propagated nga yung inyong string of pillows. And yung ating rooting hormone, it's not really necessary. Hindi siya required sa pag-propagate itong ating mga pillow plants. So after this one, we can water it thoroughly and it will grow in few days. So since we are shooting indoors, I will just try to miss itong pinaka top. Ayan. I'll just try to wet this, itong top na part. And that's it. Kailangan lang natin siyang ilagay sa bright shaded area while it's still growing. Then in just a couple of days or weeks, you can start to pull this one. And if there is resistance, it means na nag-start na siyang Mag root. As I mentioned earlier, sobrang bilis padamihin ng ating string of pillows. As simple as that one. And lastly, yung ating pillow plant would give us some signs if something is wrong with them. If for example, nagstart start ng maging yellow yung kanilang leaves or yung leaves nila are literally dropping or shedding, it is a symptom of overwatering. So we really need to keep an eye on the watering needs of our pillow plant. It's always best for us to assess nga yung kanilang pinaka soil before watering itong ating pillow plant. And if for example, ganito siya. Ayan. So this one is medyo greenish yung kanyang color as compared to this one na medyo purplish. So pag greenish siyang ganito, it means na it's not really receiving direct sunlight. Although it is not something that you need to be alarmed of. Normal lang yan. And there are no major pest problems na known to attack this plant it's always better for us to keep nga yung ating mga infected plants away from healthy plants. So like for example before, if you can remember my string of dolphins, nagkaroon siya ng mga caterpillars and right next nga sa ating string of dolphins is itong ating string of pillows. Kaya I immediately tried to move this away from the string of dolphins na infected nung ating caterpillars before 
And also, I tried to spray neem oil sa kanya as a prevention nga, just in case may mga eggs na kumapit dito, especially na nandun siya sa isang area natin sa labas where laging bumibisita yung ating mga pollinators. And as you know, yung ating mga pollinators sometimes, they leave eggs. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.